in this exercise we will have a look at partial derivatives and let me quickly explain why these are important for our course. So in machine learning you often try to optimize a loss function which somehow describes the quality of um, yeah, your model that is being fit. S fitted. So um, what you really want is uh, you want to be able to minimize the function with respect to your model parameters. So you have a few or maybe many model parameters. Today um, we are, when we're talking about large language models, for example, talking about billions of parameters. And uh, you want to optimize uh, the loss function um, by adjusting these parameters. And what we do there is we are using gradient descent often. And for this, you will have to calculate the gradient or the derivatives and um, especially the partial derivatives because for example the partial derivative with respect to one parameter tells you how to adjust this parameter this single one in order to improve the output um, so the loss in that case so we really need to uh, be able to compute uh, derivatives of yeah, such functions that contain multiple variables but we only derive um, yeah, one at a time. So let's do this. Let's compute the partial derivative of z with respect to x first. So x would be the parameter that we're adjusting and this would be our loss function. So um, first we can see that we have a product here so we need to apply the product rule. And for this, we need to compute the individual derivatives, partial derivatives of the left and the right part. So for this x squared, we will take the um, power rule. So we will decrease the exponent by one and multiply it in front. So we get two x to the power of two minus one, so one. So we can leave it out. We multiply this with this function without deriving it and then we need to add this one times the partial derivative of the right part so this is this whole pattern here is the product rule so what we need to do here is we need to exp apply exponent rule which means that we um, pull the exponent out and derive it. So this one needs to be derived. And how can you do this? Well, this is just product rule. Keep in mind we're doing partial derivatives, so the y is um, yeah, kept as a constant. So what we get here for this part is just minus y. And then we multiply this with the unaltered exponential. So let's quickly get the results. Can we simplify something? Mm, well, not really. I mean, we could take this one out. 2x minus x squared times y times e to the power of minus x times y. This is what we can do here. OK, next partial derivative. Partial derivative of z with respect to y. And what we have here, we actually have no longer a product rule, but rather yeah, the rule of a constant multiplication beca because um, this x squared with respect to y is constant. So we just pull this out and multiply with the derivative of this term over here. Well, we already had something similar over here. It's just taking the derivative of this part over here, which in this case is minus x because x is the constant here, times e to the power of minus x times y. And we can simplify this a little, minus x to the power of 3 times e to the power of x times y. And this is how to do partial derivatives.